Hi you guys, welcome back. I'm here to do a quick little reading for you. This will be messages from the Divine Masculine. Um, this is like I said, just a mini, no extended to this. Uh, we're going to see what the Masculine wants to say, how he's feeling towards the Feminine. Masculine or um, Feminine can be male or female, so just take it how it resonates and everything that you need to know will be listed below the video description. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, that index that are minds, um, you can only get it from the information below. Okay, so this is my Cupid's Desires Oracle. This is going to be the first energy we're going to get from what the masculine wants to say or how he is feeling towards the divine feminine at this time. So we have a longing for your touch, kiss. It's sex. <laughs> and then let's get another one. This is my Cupid's Desires Love Messages. I get another message to go along with that one. And then we have staring. I just want to stand here and look at you. So your person I'm already getting is missing, just staring at you, uh, um, looking at you, longing for your touch, and they're just really missing you. They also could be watching you. This is the psychic tarot for the heart. And so we have this energy of detach, okay? This is the justice card here. So this is about balancing the scales. This is releasing. So your person may be thinking about how they let you go and um, they detach from this connection. They released you, okay? And now they just want to stand there and look at you because now they are missing you. This number 11 could be significant um, as well. Could, some of you guys could be dealing with a twin flame connection. This is the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle cards. So let's just go ahead and clarify this section. So we have the dragonfly. So be lighthearted, find it out, things coming to light. Yeah, see, this is coming to the light that your person is realizing this, okay? They may be wanting to heal things from you or they may be sensing that you are healing and that you could be detaching, uh, detaching from them as well, okay? Some of you guys could be dealing with the Libra um, as well. And I'm going to get a quick message from here. These cards are so hard to manage. <laughs> they're cute, but they're hard to manage. And then we have here, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. So I'm also feeling that this masculine knows that you deserve to be happy. You deserve to be um, have whatever um, that life has to um offer you love abundance in any you know way shape or form and so this milestone could also be um either re uh, feeling like he released you or let you go um or he's willing to let you go if you are not uh wanting to come back uh to him okay um because he knows that you deserve better that's what i'm getting whoops okay all right so let's get another message here So we have bad boy, yours for tonight, a player. So some of you guys could have been dealing with a bad boy here. Um, they only wanted sex. They only wanted to be seek is longing for your touch, kiss and sex. And so you might have let them go because you realize that's all that they wanted, but they're still longing for your touch is what I'm getting. All right. So let's see what else does this bad boy want to say. <laughs> Sizzling. <laughs> when I think about you, I touch myself. So there's something about this touch that your person is longing for. You may be longing for them or there's a certain way that they touch you, um, but they think about you um, a lot. OK, and they may be into like wild things um, as well. <laughs> That's also what I'm getting. I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video, this does have some sexual references. So if you are offended by that, this would be a good time to click off or if you are under um, 18 this also is not for you <laughs> okay all right so let's see um, what else is going on here trust okay so this is the fool's energy so this is about having a, a leap of faith you know going off into the unknown so um, I'm getting like a lot of you guys are you know trusting your intuition your masculine may be uh, feeling that as well is that you you may not know what this masculine's intentions are okay you may feel like this masculine's intentions is all that's what they want is just something on a physical touch nature and not you know something um risky like they don't want to um 
they don't want to take a, a leap of faith in, in this uh, connection. And this could be, this person is somebody um, that you don't really know what's going on. They keep you guessing is basically what I'm saying. And so this causes you to have a lot of uh, trust issues with this person. So we have the Phoenix. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, change mind. So your person could be, for some of you guys, maybe letting this go because they're longing for your touch. So that if they were this bad boy energy, they may be ready to release it. They may be ready to like let it go. Or that's what they sense that you are letting them go because they want to stay in that bad boy. They only, they're, you know, yours for the night. They just want to be um, a player here. So let's get another card here. Feel that's easier to do it that way. So we have freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Okay. So see, that's what I'm getting is that either you're dealing with a bad boy that just wants their freedom. Okay. They're too afraid to take a risk and they just kind of like, you know, they long you for your touch and stuff, but they don't want to um, give you something um, solid. And so some of them are releasing this detachment or detaching for me because of the, they don't want to take a risk okay they want to um be in that energy now some of them may be in this energy to go into a new phase to take a risk so just take it how it resonates and applies it will be different for everybody so let's go ahead and see but some are going to take a risk and some they their ways haven't changed okay so let's get one more card unique different so your person sees you unique and different just like this blue rose here this is also like twin flame energy as well so your person may see you as somebody that's just very there's something different about you and for the ones that are changing this could be inspiring them to change to either detach from their past um ways and make things right because behind that detached energy is a justice card which is about balancing the scales you know making things right so let's see what else they want to say. Pounding. You know how I like it. <laughs> you know you like when I make the headboard uh, hit, hit the wall. Okay. So I feel like this is just about, this is not more of a sexual energy uh, for this. This is just for some of you guys, this person just keeps like knocking his head up against the wall, like trying to understand why maybe he can't detach from you. Um, as well because he is longing from your touch and your kiss and all of that finds you very um, hot and he wants to do something he wants to take a risk but he's unable to know if he can release this bad boy bad boy player ways or that you don't trust him that that he's going to do that okay and so I feel like he's just kind of like racking his head against the wall trying to figure you out that's the energy I'm getting more than anything so let's get another card here So we have flow. So the back energy of this is the Wheel of Fortune. So we have 10 and 11. So we do have somebody that, um, since the numbers came out like that, sometimes I, I see that as like a backwards energy. So this person could be still, you know, has, has not moved forward. This is about the energy of flowing, okay? Which is the Wheel of Fortune. Um, you know, letting things go in a, in a certain way that they're meant to be, you know, fate faded and so he could be like trying to figure out if he should let things flow or not because he does feel different with this connection and I feel like he's just really trying to like he's just pounding his head you know not literally but <laughs> you know uh, in a way where he's just trying to understand like why is he still drawn to this connection so 10 indicates endings um, also um, brings about new beginnings so I'm seeing 10, 11, and 2, and 1. So those numbers could be significant. All right, so let's get another card here. Yeah, so we have keys on the rings. So many options, a decision, unconventional string along one nice sand. So what I'm getting here from you, is, I mean, from you, <laughs> from this masculine, is a lot of you guys are dealing with a bad boy, okay? Energy, maybe they thought that they could string you along, and now um, this is a challenge for them because this is something that they normally do. And they know they have to make some type of decision, okay? And they're racking their brain of what decision should they just stay in this bad boy energy 
they need to make some type of decision, okay? Or should they just keep continuing what they've been doing, which is just having many uh, different options. I do feel like there's some type of freedom, energy of someone just like, uh, I'm getting like the main energy is this person is just too afraid to take a risk and give up their bad boy ways. So we have reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust. See, there's trust here. Trust again. So trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Okay? So what I'm getting here also from spirit is that this situation is causing for you to have trust in this person. Maybe you think this is how they are, that they can never change. And maybe some of them aren't, but some of them actually are going to change because spirit is kind of like reflecting on this. Uh, this also could be an energy where you reflected on, you gave this person a chance. You thought that maybe they were going to change their ways and they didn't. So you're reflecting on the past. You thought that it was something unique and special with this person. And so now you are making a decision to maybe go into a whole new direction as well. And your person could be sensing this, that that's what you're doing, okay? That you're releasing. Um, and so now they may be uh, ready to come towards you if this is something you're reflecting on in the past or they're reflecting on the past, that they had a, a chance to make a decision with you and they just kind of let you go. So this could be a past energy. So just take it how it resonates for you. And I'm just going to give you advice or message for the person watching when it comes to this connection for this masculine that's coming through at this time. Base chakra. So this is about staying grounded. And again, it's a number one. So this is a new beginning. So stay grounded in your decision. Follow your uh, own intuition. You know, don't give up your, your core principles uh, and values when it comes to if you're dealing with someone like that, okay? So just really think about, you know, what's going on with this person, what their intentions are before you, um, you know, make a decision. So, and also, like it says, just trust. Trust and you'll get the answers as to what to do in this particular situation. Okay, that's what I have for you guys. I hope that resonated for you. If it did, let me know by liking the video. I'll be talking to you guys soon. Uh, thank you guys so much. So have a wonderful day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And until next time, next video, peace, love, and light.